Peace and welcome to our Top 10 Yoko Shimomura Themes in Gaming. We have no one per franchise rule today, although there will be a one per game rule. As always, these are just our favorites and just for fun. So with no further delay, let's get this started. Number 10. Our first up today comes from Live Alive, War in China. A track that starts out inspired by the Oriental Riff, but after that, it's all original. And I really like the direction Yoko took on this one. She kept an Asian feel to the track after the intro. The sound of the track almost reminds me of a theme from Final Fantasy VI. Not any specific one, but the MIDI and the overall feel. It may not be Yoko's best composition, but there is nothing about this theme that I don't like. It may not be in anyone else's top 10, but it's definitely in ours. Number 9. Radiant Historia, The Edge of Green A classical sounding beat with suspense and determination. It's a great theme for when you are short on time and you need to get something done. All sorts of instruments blend together to create this masterpiece. The piano around the middle of the track is what really put this on our list. On top of that, the structure and the melody are put together masterfully. An underrated theme from a legendary composer. She has so many terrific themes that it's easy to overlook a great one like this. Number 8, Kingdom Hearts 2, The Encounter. Our first Kingdom Hearts game on the list. The Encounter has a little bit of a familiar ring to it. There's a piano in there that reminds me of a theme from Final Fantasy 7. And I hate to bring up Final Fantasy again, but that soundtrack is by a legend so it is by no means a bad thing to be compared to the music in Final Fantasy VII. Square is involved with both of the franchises anyways, so they do have some similarities. Number 7. Million Arthur Arcana Blood, EI Arthur Theme. Now with this theme, you can really hear Yoko's style. It's lively, it's fun, and it's easy to enjoy. Some songs may take a few listens to really get into it, but that's not usually the case with Yoko. Most of her tracks are easy to like the first time you hear them. And if I was to try and sum up Yoko's work with just a few words, those words just may be easily enjoyable. Number six. Final Fantasy XV, up for the challenge. Speaking of Final Fantasy, here we are. I think the Final Fantasy franchise has set the bar so high with Nobuo Uematsu and his music that they will only allow the most talented composers to work on it. 
So who better than Yoko? If she is below your bar, then I'm sorry, but you have set it too high because there are only maybe three or four composers in the world on her level. I would put her at least in the top five video game composers of all time, and quite possibly the top three. She is that good. Number 5. Legend of Mana, the title screen. So I really think title screen themes are some of the best in gaming. You have to get the attention of your audience. And not counting any music during their logos and credits, this is usually the first music you hear in a game, so I think you want to make it memorable. And if the theme captures the attention, and better yet, the imagination of the player, you have the start to something good. I'm not saying all good games have a good title theme, but you may be surprised just by how many good games do have good title themes. I think it has a lot to do with the devs of the game. They can try to save money and hire an average composer, or they can set aside a proper amount of the budget for a real composer and make something special. Number 4. Kingdom Hearts, Dearly Beloved A slow theme with an emotional piano. It's a simple beat, there isn't a lot of instruments, but it's effective. Sometimes it's a good thing to just let the melody flow and let the listener sit back and relax. Drums would be too harsh on this track in my opinion. I'm really glad Yoko just let it be as is. It's one of my favorite tracks by her because of that. This beat is one that makes me think it always has been and always will be, meaning it needed to exist, almost like fate. It just needed someone to uncover it and someone to bring it to life. A track like this, in my opinion, helps pass the time because it's relaxing, soothing, and has a carefree type of vibe. Number 3, Xenoblade Chronicles, the title screen. Yes, what can we say, another title screen. Yoko is extremely talented, and if you really want to hear the quality in her music, all you have to do in this case is not press start. Just sit back for a few minutes and let it play. One of my favorite parts of games, and it really took off with the PlayStation 1 era, is the opening cinematic. I remember countless times where I wouldn't press a button for a few minutes just to see the opening FMV on a new game and hear the music that accompanies it. I recommend not only playing Xenoblade Chronicles, but also listening to it. Yoko really shines on this soundtrack. Number 2. Super Mario RPG. Beware the Forest Mushrooms. Our second spot is a repeat offender in our top 10 series. But can you really blame us? Yoko and 16-bit bleeps and bloops go together like Mario and Yoshi. Retro Yoko pretty much always gets a thumbs up in my book. If I was to make a game, I would hire Yoko to do the music. It's one of those things where if you hire the right person for the job, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. I would be 100% confident that my game would have some of the best music on the market. 
She was a perfect fit for the Mario RPG, but can you really think of a game that she couldn't compose for? And now some honorable mentions. Number 1. Street Fighter 2 – Guile's Theme So the theme that goes with everything also tops our list. It's iconic and most gamers could tell you exactly where it's from. There is a reason why two of the top three Guile themes on YouTube have a combined 21 million views. You can also find YouTubers like Smooth McGroove who have their own rendition. The music in Street Fighter 2 is some of the most popular music in gaming, and it was a little bit difficult choosing just one. I really like Vegas theme and Ken's theme, but no matter which one you choose, you cannot go wrong. So there you have it, 10 of our favorite themes by Yoko herself, an all-time great composer with a very impressive resume. If we failed to mention your favorite, please comment with it so we can take a listen. Our next top 10 will be Heroes Themes. No villains and no fighting games, those two will have their own top 10. So for now, shout out to Gold Level Patron Bearsona11, IMICC, Thanks for watching. Peace.